Hi, this is James at World War II Jeep and Rifle, and today I'm going to be going through a fuel filter element or screen replacement. This uh, fuel filter is uh, uh, a, a maintenance item. It does need to be replaced <clears throat> or the strainer uh, can be cleaned out periodically. But in addition, you can see that I've got a slow fuel leak coming from this fuel filter. I believe that the gasket in the drain plug may be getting old, could be getting uh, deteriorated with the ethanol <clears throat> in the gas these days. So anyways, uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing some maintenance, replacing the, the uh, fuel filter and the gaskets with a fuel strainer cartridge and gasket set. <clears throat> um, to do this, the first step is to drain the uh, fuel filter bowl. There's a drain plug on the bottom that you remove. You'll need to have a tin can and paper towels and stuff ready to, to uh, clean up this mess and catch the drips. Once you've re removed the drain plug, you then uh, remove the bolt on top of the fuel filter housing. That will release the bowl. You pull the bowl out <clears throat> and then we'll clean it, replace the gaskets and the filter and replace it. So that's the, those are the steps. And uh, now I'll walk you through those. The tools you'll need to remove the drain plug and the bowl, the bolt holding the bowl on are a 11 16 socket wrench for the drain plug and a three quarter inch socket for the bolt, the retaining bolt. <clears throat> and uh, like I mentioned before, I have a tin can positioned below the filter. I had to weasel it in from underneath the engine. Um, and <clears throat> as I remove the drain plug, I'll hold that can so that I catch as much of the gas as possible. While that's draining, I'll start putting some turns on. There we go. That released some vacuum, and I'm getting a lot more drainage. That tin can has got a lot of gas in it now. That's about half full. That's the last drips coming out. Okay, I'm gonna set this can down. side with the strainer in it. I think I'm going to have to get this from underneath the engine now. Just not quite enough room. Okay, so here's the can. And Take a look here. This is the original strainer, and I can I can see some particles down in the bottom of the bowl. Maybe when I get better light, I'll uh, I'll show you what I'm looking at. All right, the ethanol gel is clearly visible in the bottom of the bowl. You can see that. See those white blobs? That is uh, ethanol gel. All right, so with a little bit of work, I got the old filter strainer out. This strainer is all metal. This is the original type. It was reusable, and you could rinse it and clean it, blow it out, and then put it back in. 
<clears throat> you can see what it's constructed of a sandwich of many layers of thin perforated discs and it is supposed to uh, be held in place with a spring and uh, and then slide down over the center rod in the bowl um, this this thing has was in need of some maintenance for a long time and I can see that the center post has already started to corrode away probably from having water in the fuel and and the interacting with the metals rusting it over time it's got pitting on the inside of the bowl this bowl really does need to be replaced so that that will come uh, come next <clears throat> when you put the new fuel filter in uh, it it has to go on a certain way and the way to think about it is that this this is a filter and it works by bringing fuel in, pumping fuel in from the inline. And the inline goes in the outside of the filter. That's where the fuel, the fuel enters the canister. And it uh, filters through the, the uh, perforated holes on the outside into the inside and then back out through a separate hole in the cover of the fuel filter. All right, so here's kind of where I'm going to have to rig something. This old spring, completely broken, corroded. There were pieces of it in the bottom of it when I cleaned it out. You need the spring. The reason you need the spring, which uh, goes on first over the post before the element, is to hold the element up so that it is, it is uh, preventing the raw fuel that's coming into the filter from entering the filtered fuel line and that's accomplished by pressing this cork this cork gasket up into the top of the filter housing so the rigging that i'm going to do is i've got a spring um, it's a little too big because it it slides over the the bottom of the post and i need it to i need it to hold up so i'm gonna i put a, a washer in and my spring and then I will install the fuel filter and you can see it's got a spring action to to keep it pressed up against the top of the housing so that the raw fuel in doesn't mix with the filtered fuel out <clears throat> and preserves the functionality of this this uh, fuel filter so the right thing to do would be get a new new uh, bowl without a corroded post a new spring sized for the uh, for the job <clears throat> and to rebuild it uh, until then this is how I'm gonna take care of things so when I uh, don't have to worry about getting my body in front of the camera I'll uh, replace this filter put the bolt uh, bolt back on um, with the new gasket to get the old gasket out you gotta you gotta reach up in here and and uh, claw it out, uh, which I which I have already done. This is the old gasket, and I put the new gasket in, seating it smoothly around. <clears throat> then I'll bolt this this on. Final step will be to put uh, the small gasket into the drain plug bolt underneath, <clears throat> and then when I start it, it has to replace all of the fuel by the pumping act, fuel pump, pumping fuel in through the canister, refilling the bowl after I've drained it, and then uh, plumbing it through to the carburetor. So could take quite a bit of cranking to uh, get all of the fuel lines refilled with fuel, but uh, you need to run it for a little while and make sure that you don't have any leaks after you've replaced the gaskets, bolts, and, and the filter. So there you go. I hope this was helpful. And if you like the video, please like, uh, press like and subscribe, and we'll keep showing you stuff. See you next time.